Are you interested in magic? Lightning, fire, ice, books and wands? Uh, I'm here too. I'm up, I'm up in this shit. <laughs> well, let's break it down for him. All right, let's talk about spell books. These can be found in pedestals or in the shop sometimes. You can burn them for 10 health, sacrifice them, or you can read them. We're going to talk about what happens when you read them. There are 16 spells you can learn this way. The damage, range, and ability of these spells will scale with your intelligence and the level of the spell. To level up a spell, read more of that particular book. There are five tiers of spells. Tier 1 is a blue book. Tier 2, red books. Tier 3, red with gold. Tier 4 is brown. And Tier 5 is purple. First, the Tier 1 spells. These are not the worst spells. They are just Tier 1 because of the spawn rate, and you start with them as the mage. Frost Nova is only Tier 1, but is a favorite of many. It casts a sphere of ice and snow around you that will freeze and damage enemies. This will immobilize them and deal some damage. Frost Nova has unlimited uses and casts. Electrance. It starts with a short range and low damage bolt of lightning right in front of you. The high attack speed and stun makes it a great spell. It has unlimited charges. Next, the tier 2 spells. Magic Missile. This spell launches a spread shot of three homing magic bolts. Ice Ball will throw a ball of ice straight forward that will freeze an enemy on contact. It does not have a max range and if it hits a wall it will freeze into a block of ice for a short period. Flame Pillar. This spell will plant a small eruption of fire. You can plant it where enemies are going to walk. Dash allows you to do a quick dash. This can be used for an extra jump or multiple jumps. It is mostly for mobility, but if mastered, you can use it in combat. Alright, so here are the tier 3 spells. We'll start off with Fireball. This spell will launch a large fireball forward with a lot of smaller fireballs falling from it. If you're above enemies, this can be used to rain fire down on them. Charm. This spell will allow you to make an enemy fight for you. You can use it on a boss, but it just seems to make them neutral. Fire Shield. This spell will apply a strong fire aura that will spit fire every few seconds. This is very good for melee play. Lightning. Is an aim spell that will hit multiple times and stun the enemy. It has a short range for its charge speed, so be careful with it. Blink. This spell will allow you to teleport to an aimed location. The longer you charge it for, the farther you will go. This can help you get out of a bad situation, or steal from the shopkeeper without aggro. Shockwave will grant you the ability to send a shockwave through the ground in front of you. This is similar to the golem boss's attack. Now for the last one, Summon Monster. will summon a flying monster to help you fight. As you level up the spell, the monsters will change from bats to harpies and then finally to imps. Next up, Tier 4 Spellbooks. Spirits will summon a few friendly wisps that will circle around you and act as a shield. Also very good for melee play. Chain Lightning. This spell will be a lot like lightning with a little more range and it will hit multiple targets even though it only targets one. Now there is only one tier 5 spell. Evil Transformation. This spell will have a few charges, often just one. The effect will last a long time. It will grant you life steal for your melee attacks and does stack with life steal. Wands are pretty simple and easy to use. If they run out, just use recharge. What you might not know is the amount of combos and tricks they have. The ice wand will launch a shaft of ice left or right. This will freeze any enemy it touches and you can also use it as a bridge. The fire wand will launch a fireball much like the fireball spell, but with the wand you can spam them out very fast. The lightning wand will cast a lot of lightning that will hit multiple targets multiple times. The wand of pestilence. This wand will cast a cloud of poison. This cloud will not hurt you, so you can easily draw enemies into it. If you have a fire or electric spell or wand, they can ignite the cloud into an explosion. If you're standing too close, this will hurt you and probably kill you, but if you're standing just far enough away, it'll only stun you. The Wand of Blink. This wand will allow you to teleport like the Blink spell, only you will not be able to adjust the range or see exactly where you will land. The Wand of Chaos. This wand will mimic the blessings of the ranged or the chaos scrolls. It can hurt you or help you. It's scary to use in combat. The wand of healing. This wand will summon little orbs that will heal about 12 to 8 damage per orb. The wand of digging. This wand will break any block in any direction you aim it. It can also be used to deal 30 damage to the golems of the forest. It can be really helpful on levels like the catacombs where you know you're going down. Now you can cast, blast, and smash that ass. Have fun playing with your wands. Give us some feedback and leave some likes. Thanks, Facebooks. <laughs>